최고 <laughs> oh yes <laughs> he swiped that on the way in and then come back you can see the mud there where he's kicked it up he's just jumped off <laughs> that's awesome that's all right bit of excitement early in early in the day so yeah, I know they're sitting on the drains today then. <laughs> oh, I know they're chewing. There's a lot of bait sitting up real high, so got a bit shallower diver on than what I'd usually throw in this situation but it's um, gonna get down just into their face that little bit better than that extra deep diver which would probably come through underneath them so it's all that bait up high I don't want to I just want to be the odd bait fish out which is just that little bit lower than the rest that's sitting there so I don't know if you can really see but there's a heap of mullet just sitting in the shade in these sort of spots and um, they're about probably 10 centimeters under the water if that some little gar and stuff there but what this does is it just they'll be sitting there watching all that bait moving through moving around the place and just putting one down that little bit deeper just they don't have to move too far for the for the food so you can trigger a bit of a bite by just getting it down in front of them middle of the day it's one o'clock now so a lot of them fish are going to be sitting down deeper and tucked up into the shade just resting so it's just all about putting the lure in the right spot just to get it to them that fish he would have followed it out what five six meters so i felt the tiniest little touch and i wasn't quite sure if it was a fish, but turned out it was. He's followed me right back. So it's more proof that it always pays to work your lure all the way back to the boat. And I don't believe there's not a fish in that snag there. So I'm just gonna put a couple over it from different angles and different parts of the snag just to put it right in front of them. And just a straight, slow wind. to play. A little drain here behind me. Whoop, there's something up in there. What is that? Little shovel nose shark sitting in there and a few mullet.
lot of little prawns in that one. It's hidden in the shade there so they don't cook. Oh, big mud skipper. Oh. There you go, it's cost me a fish. Definitely didn't feel hawks. It's bringing that lure down along the edge of that bank where I'm sort of guessing that the drop off is, so. It's just sitting off the edge. There we go. I'm expecting that the fish will be sitting out in the deeper water. A little bit cooler, and it's my old favourite. <laughs> yes. I wasn't even targeting pikeys, and I got one. <laughs> yeah. Get him back. We're hooked in a very unfortunate spot there. There's a bar in there. See the muddy's just kicked up. Didn't feel hooks, so hopefully he will come back. Definitely a lot of nervous mullet around. On the prowl in there. Skipper wants to eat. <laughs> Little archer. He really wants to eat. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Oh, 
まずけぱーガリム It's a world record that one for sure Oh my gosh Okay Barra busting up next to the boat while I'm catching mud skippers. Who would have thought? Something's just happened. I reckon that barometer's just crashed because it's just started to rain real lightly. And obviously, the fish are liking it. Really light rain. Shallow water. I don't know how far I'm going to get up here, so I'll just keep pushing nice and steady and see what we can get away with. I've got about a meter of water now, so. Definitely getting shallower. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Oh, big thready. Right there. You can see the big fork tail on him. Just swimming. Just patrolling up here looking for prawns. So hopefully we can get him to bite. Wasn't a small fish either, so Oh, there's fish rolling everywhere through here. Just on the outside of this leaf line. I've seen two now. Not decent size, probably 800 sort of spec kingies. Bust ups up ahead and the tide's just starting to push up in here, so fingers crossed she might be about to happen. Red fin just up here, busting up all through. So I'm gonna put a battery in this other GoPro so hopefully we can get a secondary angle and we're gonna push up with the tide. Oh, see that? Good size thready. There's a whole bunch of them just cruising along, pushing up with this tide, so. It's hard to decide whether to fish the drain or to just send one up the middle. Or both. Okay. 
I'm still in there. Very focused in on them small bait fish that they're eating. Could make it difficult. Oh, big archer just sitting there. Us. <laughs> Definitely something in this log here that's scaring them all. Bust ups everywhere up ahead. Very hard to catch when they're doing this, but we'll give it a go. What's this? Oh, yeah! What would a day in the creek be without a cod? <laughs> yeah. A good size cod. That was ideal. Hey. Yep, of course I did. <laughs> that was cool. No mistaken what that was. <laughs> okay. Don't think he felt the hooks, but I don't know if he's coming back after that. <laughs> Come on, fish. Possible barra maybe out here on the left. I'm looking for threadies here though. This here looks like thread fin to me. A couple of little highlights there with some shadows coming off them. It's coming up onto these rocks. 
There's only a handful of fish there, so not too excited just yet. Oh, here we go. We've got a few sitting behind the rocks. They're all threadies there. There's a whole bunch of them sitting there up against this ridge. So yeah, all this is all fish sitting out off the side and even more up against the bank. So I'm gonna get our little vibe and I'm gonna throw into that. I'm not too sure what's going on up there, but it looks like there's a whole lot of fish tucked up against the steep bank. So this is really shallow up in here. I'm sitting in three meters. I reckon there's a whole bunch of fish stacked in there. There's another patch of rocks just up here, but in between there and the first set of rocks, there seems to be a whole bunch of fish, so. <laughs> a whiting <laughs> oh wow a little whiting on a vibe I can't say I've done that before come on mate put a 10-0 through ya 